Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. And it looks like Big Act is being hit with some Diddy kind of charges, right? And now DJ Academics is being sued for grape and defamation by this chick. Zaya Bache claims that she was assaulted multiple times at DJ Academics home. First by two men who drugged her, then by Academics himself. And on stream, DJ Academics denied those claims. And then Zaya, who goes by Miss Zaya on YouTube, made this video. I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, Academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years, you tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. This is what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. So let's check out a little bit of the lawsuit. And then one thing I always wonder is why is everything always a you know, money lawsuit and is never a criminal charge, right? For all of these, you know, great allegations that's flying around. The lawsuit was filed on Tuesday by Zaya Bache, who met the internet personality in 2021. According to Rolling Stone, they dated briefly sometime after that. And according to the lawsuit, Bache claims she was invited to DJ Academics home in July 2020 and was welcomed by two men she didn't expect to be there. The two men then spiked her drink and continued serving her alcohol until they raped her on the pool deck at Academics Home. She stated she was awoken at 4 a.m. by Academics, pulling her hair, prying her legs open, and brutally raping her, and accused him of anally and vaginally penetrating her. Bache claims she begged Academics to stop, even at the point she was crying for most of the assault, but losing her ability to move physically. Elsewhere in the lawsuit, Bache stated that she asked academics what happened to the next morning, to which she showed and that two condoms in it, which hinted that two men continued to grape her inside the home. After that, Bache also claimed academics showed her surveillance footage of the alleged attack at the pool deck. According to Ms. Bache, she recorded the video. She looked like she was, she was just laying there lifeless which didn't sit right with her she read in the lawsuit following the incident Bache claimed that academics texted her to get tested which she found was odd she contacted her lawyer before going to the police who advised her to get a grape kit done according to the results of the kit Bache claims traces of dj academics sperm was found also spoke with authorities who took pictures of her bruised body Bache said she also had a recorded wire call where academics graphically recounted and admitted to having intercourse with her and even going as far as describing her vagina police went ahead to obtain a warrant to secure the footage and other forms of evidence of the alleged grave however Bache claims that academics disposed of several items including bed sheets at the dumpster near his office presumably Mr. Allen was admitting to destroying the evidence of Bache's grape. Bache claimed she chose to remain silent and didn't press charges and changed her mind after allegations came up at the end of 2023. Right. So she decided not to press charges after you got, you know, a train ran on you and all this other stuff and drug. Academics denied he assaulted Bache and released a video where he said he was sleeping while two men allegedly raped her. He also said Bache was getting trained by two men on my pool deck. The lawsuit claims academics defamed Bache, according to, by accusing her of voluntarily having an orgy with his friends at his home while maintaining that he never participated at all. He said, I'm confident that justice will prevail and the veil will be removed so no other woman will have to endure what I did. Bache said in a statement while her lawyer added, Litigation is always the last resort after several successful attempts to privately resolve this case. Ms. Bache was left with no choice but to file against 
Mr. Allen's hubris will be his downfall. So these shocking allegations, academics page couldn't be found as of May 13th. Fans was questioning why his page was deactivated or his platform was suspended. Academics page coming down after he was the main sources of putting information against the beef with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this lawsuit. You know, one thing that really just stands out to me, I find it weird that, you know, when it happened, she said she was not going to press charges. You know, I wonder why would you not press charges? You got graped. You know, shouldn't your first reaction to be run straight to the police? If you get assaulted, why sit around and wait a year? They say, I'm going to place a civil lawsuit. Like, I don't understand that. So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. You know, do y'all think she was telling the truth? Or y'all think Shorty out here lying for money? Or, you know, she could have been embarrassed that she was having a, a train ran on her, you know, by DJ Academy's friends. And she could have, you know I mean, later changed it to, you know, she was getting graved against her will. So it's either one of those two things. So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video. Subscribe. We gone.